Hey guys, what is up? It's Kat here and look who is finally actually getting one of these reviews out on time. I'm finally back. Finally was able to sit down and enjoy this latest Bad Batch episode this evening. It's already episode 12. I guess it is. We are coming down to the wire, folks, and I just have to say off the bat, this episode was flipping fantastic. Like, tr uh, honestly, maybe even one of my favorite episodes of the season, like perhaps my new favorite of the season. It was just truly, even though it was predictable, like going into this, we obviously had an idea like, okay, Hera is going to enlist the help of the Bad Batch because they're her only only choice at this point. She doesn't really have anybody else to call on for help in an emergency like this. So it was obvious that she was going to probably, you know, be reaching out to them but despite that going into it you know even though we had a better grasp of what the outline of this episode was going to be i still freaking loved it this was just such an incredible episode all around just some really great juicy juicy moments that are feeding into i think something that we have all been wanting to see now from this show the the blossomings of uprisings against the empire and now a kind of potential potential build up to a clone rebellion of some sort i think it's pretty obvious that hauser in my opinion stole the stole the show this episode uh, his role was phenomenal and i was really hoping that they were going to dig more into his internal conflict as a clone here who you know fought alongside champs and doula you know during the clone wars and whatnot in the efforts to free ryloth and now his predicament here having to serve the empire who have very different goals very different moral compass a very different vision for peace and how they want to establish it i was really excited to see them dive more into what a reg clone is is dealing with now or at least just one example of of them realizing like hey this isn't what we really signed up for so i think it's safe to say that hauser's you know role in this episode was phenomenal and i'm hoping that this builds into what will hopefully be some sort of clone uprising but i think that they planted some really great seeds and i liked how they added to that even hunter was picking up on this you know noticing when hauser was coming to the group's rescue in a way to let them know that they were about to run into a trap and that he was going to take the heat for them so that they could get away uh knowing what the repercussions of that were going to be i liked that moment there where hunter kind of turns back as they're all like fleeing to get out and he looks at hauser like knowing what he is about to do and has that kind of moment of recognition like oh my goodness maybe there are still some regs that like have a moral compass there are some regs perhaps you know out there or on Camino that don't want to be doing what they're doing that maybe have a vision that aligns more with ours in terms of you know retaliating against the empire so i'm hoping that goes somewhere like i don't know like if the bad badge expands and does like recruit some more uh, you know x x clones it's clear though however that you know rampart notices this as well and i think it probably is resonating also for crosshair you know crosshair you know as not just a clone but a defective one at that you know despite the manipulation that he has taken to his inhibitor chip i'm sure even he is maybe shaking in his boots a little bit. <laughs> shaking in his boots. Does anyone even say that? I'm sure even he is feeling perhaps a bit angsty here, knowing that Rampart already is trying to phase out the clone army and replace it with volunteers who, you know, willingly are signing up to join the, I guess, this war now that is going to ensue. And so knowing that already, I'm sure Crosshair seeing, you know, reg clones already so easily throwing down their guns and uh, saying in agreement, yes, we don't want to be doing this. This is wrong. I'm sure that probably has him scared a little bit too, knowing that Rampart already to begin with was not, you know, jumping up and down with joy over the clone program. And if anything was trying to get it shut down, I am sure he is a bit nervous about, you know, his position and his security now and where he stands uh, should this completely turn Rampart off from the clone army in general and if this is the straw that does it that has them totally just phase out and eliminate the clones and replace them with you know voluntary soldiers so yes I am very curious to see about 
where Rampart goes with this. I would love to see in like the next episode or so him returning to Kamino, debriefing with Tarkin, and then trying to, you know, figure out what the next move is here, what this means for, you know, all the regs, you know, that are still out there and scattered. If word gets out of a rebellion, I'm sure they're gonna try to keep it hush hush because I'm sure that they know now that there are clones out there who are not exactly uh, going to be compliant anymore or not exactly fans of their new duties and may not be showing the most loyalty to the empire so i'm curious to see where this where this takes rampart and tarkin and just all of the the regs uh for the rest of this season but yeah i thought that was the the highlight of this episode i'm very curious to see like uh more about what crosshair feels about this like i i don't know i felt like in this episode in particular it, it seemed like he himself also had some more moral dilemmas i don't know there were there were moments in this episode where it was just kind of concentrating on him and his reactions to things and i don't know i feel like he still is having an internal dialogue and internal conflict particularly at the ending there where he requests rampart's permission mission to continue to hunt down the Bad Batch and, you know, Rampart grants it to him. Even at the end there, though, it, it seemed like he... Yeah, I don't I don't know like I don't this could totally just be me I might just be making this up but he, he seemed to have some sort of feel like a part of him after seeing this you know the blossoming clone uprising here seeing just a little tip of what could be a huge iceberg of you know clones d defecting and you know going rogue and uh throwing down their blasters because they don't want to serve the empire anymore i feel like that resonated with crosshair as well i feel like there is a part of him after seeing that that he doesn't want to just hunt down the bad batch to eliminate them but i feel like there is there is more motive to that I feel like he I feel like he knows his situation he knows about the manipulation that he has endured and he is seeing now that other clones are rallying against the Empire and I feel like perhaps he I don't know there could just be something left in him that wants to do the same who knows I don't know let me know if anyone else was picking up that vibe uh, the you know his final kind of moment there the the camera frame on crosshair as the episode concluded I just felt like there was just a little something more there like he doesn't want to just hunt down his friends he he wants to to get out of his situation i don't know but yes i am just very very excited to see where all of this goes i think a clone uprising like i just i had chills even as it happened during this episode and the clones were like arresting each other i thought it was just so so awesome it was it was kind of like order 66-esque just kind of reminded me of the final episode of the clone wars where rex is trying to like reason with all of his brothers there and you know kind of save his and ahsoka's skins in the end there and his brothers you know are are looking at him as a traitor and it doesn't work it was that was a very like rex-esque moment trying to like snap snap his brothers out of it and see what they're doing that they're betraying the the people that they are meant to be serving that the people that they've been fighting alongside but yeah other than that it was great to see the bad batch team up with Hera, although I just couldn't help but think, you know, she's obviously forging this connection here with the group now and has them, you know, as a, as a contact. Like, she clearly is is pals with Omega. Like, they seem to have a good relationship there. So, I can't help but just question, you know, if the Bad Batch were around during the time in which Rebels is taking place, why would Hera have not, you know, reached out to them at some point, obviously. Like, I just, I don't know. I just can't help but think that when characters are introduced and I'm like, okay, well, why weren't they around during the sequel trilogy? Like, I don't know, Ahsoka Tano, I wonder that about her. I'm like, if she was alive, why wasn't she helping out? Like, that's where my mind just goes. So, of course, during this entire episode, I was like, okay, if she's friends with the Bad Batch, then where were they during Rebels, like, when they needed help? I don't know. It was awesome to see her and <laughs> Omega 
team up there. But they're, they're like 14. Omega's what, maybe like 12 in this show? I don't know exactly their ages, but they're like young teenage girls tearing it up there, seeing Hera's, you know, kind of like first time solo, not being trained, you know, behind, behind the wheel of a ship was, was wonderful. But yeah, it was cool to just see her and Omega kind of like taking control of the mission and being left to their own devices. This entire episode, I was so panicked literally the whole time that something bad was going to happen to Hera's mom. Thank goodness it didn't, but I was like truly bracing myself because as we know, I was like worried in the previous episode that something was going to happen to her, but I was like really preparing for it now. I'm kind of glad that they didn't do that because it really would have stunk. So I'm glad I didn't have to worry about that. The score in this episode, my God, I think is my favorite of the, my favorite soundtrack uh, of the show so far in terms of all the episodes that we've had. The, the, this music was just like insane. Hearing like the clones theme, like we're calling back to like, you know, the, the Clone Wars soundtrack there with Hauser having that moment was like super, super like just give me chills like every, every like just this whole episode the score was just phenomenal it, it was a standout standout selection of music in my opinion uh and i i literally can't wait to rewatch the episode for so many reasons but the music in particular being one of them everything was just so great like the action of this episode was phenomenal but the slow paced more you know the conversations between hauser and the Sindulas and like seeing him trying to help them and you know obviously seeing like the tension between him and crosshair like you could tell crosshair was like definitely on to him so i'm 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 just i really just want to see how crosshair reacts to this this clone uprising because i feel like if there is anyone who wants to give the empire a taste of their own medicine and fight back how could it not be the the clone that has endured so much torture and manipulation at their hands and he is clearly still in there i've i've been saying this like i do believe that crosshair himself there is a little sliver of his actual you know his his conscience and his personality left in there and that he is aware of what they have done to him and so i feel like it's only appropriate that of all of the clones he would want to you know take some revenge you know avenge himself a little bit so but i feel like this was just a, a perfect setup perfect sprinkling of some little you know planting seeds to go into the finale to allude to not only you know planets uprising and banding together like champs and is saying and you know Hera's mom alluding to a war that is about to ensue i feel like that's gonna be awesome like it's we're getting to like the breaking point now where people the tension is rising i'm super excited to see not only what that uprising has in store but also to see like a clone rebellion would be so so awesome so we'll see i don't know i don't want to get like my hopes up uh, we do only have like four episodes left at this point, right? That is, that's so, such a sad thought. I, I just, I can't wait. I, I can't say enough good things about this episode. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And again, I think that, you know, Hauser and his internal conflict uh, totally stole the show this episode and is something that we've all been wanting to see, you know, a, you know, the regs realizing that the Empire is maybe not who they want to be serving. So we'll see what happens. But yes, that is gonna be it for me tonight guys i am super tired i literally haven't stayed up uh past midnight like in a couple of weeks so it was almost like difficult for me <laughs> to stay awake tonight to watch the episode but i am so glad that i did again i really would rank this as like one of my favorite episodes let me know what you guys thought i would love to hear your opinions but yes i hope that you guys enjoyed this week's episode as always i know that i sure did and i already cannot wait to rewatch it i truly think it was phenomenal thank you guys as always so so much for watching i can't believe we only have a couple of these reviews left i'm like so sad hope that you guys have been doing so so well as always may the force be with you guys always and i will see you guys again very very soon bye